Hi folks, Mr. Teslonian back here again. I've made some updates and uh, some modifications to the evaporative refrigeration system and I want to take you through just what I've done here. So I'm going to walk up to this side and show you exactly what I've done to make sure this is a recirculating system. Uh, right here you can see as I get closer there's a tube. It's a black plastic tube. Drilled a, a hole in the corner right here and then put the tube up from the bottom. You can see I removed some of the wood material here and made a low spot in the wood also. Help gather some of that water. If I take you underneath there you can see the black piece of pipe coming up from the underside. It also arches, goes up and on to the other side of this which I'll take you around and show you to the other corner over there at the other saturation screen. Right here you can see the same thing if I lift up this piece of shirt edge. You can see the hole right there going into the black piece of pipe. I'll show you that from underneath. You can see it coming down there, meeting over to the other corner, coming down through the white pipe and over to this one. And both of those meet there and I'll show you on the other side what they're doing. Right there is the drip that I have coming out of the system. Now I can start slowing that down a bit now that I've got the shirts all moisturized and got everything uh, wettened. So I can start to slow down the flow with the valve up top on the upper tank. This way I'm not losing my water through the system other than what I'm losing through evaporation. So this is a, a re-catch as you can see I just kind of fired it up, started the bucket empty. I wanted to see just how much I was going to re-catch through this system, how much was lost through evaporation. Curious on just how long five gallons of water, which I didn't just fill all the way up, I only put half of a jug in there. Uh, how long five gallons of water is going to last through this system. I have a feeling with the recirculation going on that we might even get a full week out of five gallons which would make for a pretty uh, efficient system here especially for people that live in a, a hot dry climate maybe even in third world nations. So there you go there's the quick and easy updates once again I'll just show you this side you can see the tube coming in right at the corner there and once again I'll zoom in for you you can see it over there right there uh, you can see this flashing chunk that I had to screw down right here all the way on both sides that helps make it so if the water rolls off the sheet towards it it'll stop most of it roll it back towards either one of the corners I have crowned the center of the refrigeration board here at the bottom you can see it's dry at the center I crowned the center with this piece by how I screwed it on that way water would roll to one side or the other and not just get caught up in the center because if it was bowed down in the center it would do just the opposite which might make it a little easier, you might only need one pipe but for what I had this is what I used. So once again there's an update to an evaporated refrigeration system that is now a recirculating system. Well I hope you enjoyed until next time this is Mr. Tesslonian and the Tesslonian Man Show.